Hello, my Victorian friends! I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as technically Cascadia, but really New Victoria. So, yesterday, I'm going to address some comments. So, so yesterday, um, I asked you guys what our intelligence agency should be called, and you guys gave me a lot of good suggestions. They were really awesome. I'll say that's really cool. But the one that stood out to me the most, well, barely stood out to me the most, just because they were all really cool and actually interesting. But I'm gonna go with MI slash V. So it's not quite military intelligence section six, but military intelligence Victoria. Or maybe New Victoria. Yeah, I'll go with five. That sounds pretty cool. And there we are, MIV, MI5, MI Victoria. Awesome. Thank you for all of your suggestions yesterday, if you commented, regarding what the name of our intelligence agency should be. I found them very, very awesome. And I forgot, as soon as I loaded this game up again, I forgot that we were, we were at war with Bellingham. So, let's continue to have an extremely good time with these guys and slice them off a little bit more, like that. That'll be fun. Let's let these guys be a little bit more reorganized. And in this episode, we are going to be finishing the reforms on our army. And by finishing reforms, what I really mean is for us to get to Automated Warfare. We're going to go down that path, and we'll probably become a chapter to continue expanding. Now, someone suggested that I should join the chapters and then take them over or something like that, puppet other chapters. That's okay, maybe, but really, ooh, wow, the she actually took the lands from the Brotherhood. The goal, yeah, they're not in the Brotherhood, is to perhaps, since Arroyo became kind of thick under the Chosen, which, chosen One, which I still am going to play someday, Perhaps we could force them to go to war with the Marrow Drinkers and just take some of the territory so we have another, you know, landing point. So we can invade more of the wasteland. Actually, the Marrow Drinkers are pretty big. Force them to go to war, give us some territory, or at least some, and I'll compensate them later on with some territory so we can go to war with the Bone Dancers. Actually, right now, considering looking at this, they're pretty big. The Bone Dancers are pretty big too, and as well as the Brotherhood down here. We'll definitely see what happens, but I'll do whatever I can to get closer to other enemy nations. We'll put it like that. But let's finish off this war first. Okay, so you guys are looking pretty good. We're gonna come right there. We're gonna take off a division. And then you'll go right there. Take off another division. Go down there. Go down there. To there. And then... Bingo. Cool! Go right ahead, my robotic friends. They probably can't pierce you. No, they cannot. And that is a good thing. Police Protectrons, so we can get a little bit of an upgrade. Very good. We get, could get Mr. Handys. Hmm. Scrap motorcycles. We might do that. Crowd control. Let's grab some defense for infantry and stuff like that. Because we're still using some of these bad boy infantry divisions. <gasps> Heavy lift robots. Bone. You know? Regardless, they're still going to. Someone here is still going to border these guys. So that's okay. We're not making any he heavy lift robots. Oh my goodness. We need these guys. We need them. Do that. Actually, how many protectons do we have? 14. We have plenty of infantry equipment for now. Hmm. I need heavy robots. Definitely need that. We got enough of that. Triremes are coming along. Schooner holes. We're going to need some more circuitry, though. But we've recovered ancient Zeppelin files, which I'm probably not going to use because blimps are just very difficult to use, to be honest. They cost so much to produce, and they're, they get shot down so easily. It's not really worth building them. But, you know what? Oh, we do a little bit of southern exploration. We should make an exploration south. We have heard of a powerful intellectual society there. Yes, uh, 800 to produce them. 12 ground attack. That's so much. How much does it cost to produce some bombers? Like triplane attackers. It costs 90. Not 800, but so does 9. Monoplane attackers is 18 ground attack for 110. Let's say rotary engine bombers. 80%. 200 for a quarter of the cost. For just a little bit less ground attack, blimps ugh, for ground attack it's just it just ain't bueno sometimes, man. It just ain't cool. And uh, you guys should honestly help support the attack there. That'll be good. That'd be very good. Uh, help them out too. And nice. Oh, good. South America's on fire. General Ed, Gen Ed. Nothing really there. You guys have got more things there. All right. Well, we'll get down there eventually. And this is all core territory still, so we don't even have to core it yet, which is awesome. Mm. I could attack out down here. If we get more robots, I might attack across the river there. Maybe. But this is the last little encirclement that I would really want. Oh, nice. 
Happy 2279. Uh, before we do too much else, yeah, we'll get Mr. Handy's because we can. I know I, I should research something else, but whatever. Cool, very good. Yeah, Yakuza territories. Good, good, good. Let's get Sir Kevin Norrington. That'd be great. Ah, and the robots are marching south. Very good. Actually, who's the spy? So it's General Wilson Willoughby's march to the south, or through the south. Burn everything you can, and leave nothing for them to eat. Those flush sacks. Flush sacks. Just humans. Oh. She? What are you up to with the belly? Oh, wait. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Maybe? Maybe not? Demand outer San Francisco, the chosen one. Um, guarantee them. Gain annex war goal. Dismantle the Brotherhood. Something tells me they're probably not going to win against the Brotherhood. Probably. Hmm. We'll see what happens, of course. Expand stuff. Expand stuff, maybe. Stability. I love stability. I love having a stable nation. I don't know about you, but stable nations are pretty awesome. Mm, what else are we going to do here? APCs. Eh, that stuff is all okay. That stuff is garbage. Let's just grab... Justify World Goals Times with Jesse Wright, and then expand ourselves. Man, the Marrow Drinkers are doing a great job. I don't know what's going on with those guys, but they're doing real great. Uh, you guys just come on through here. Take a robot dude. Take two more robot dudes. Push them out of the way. Encircle them. Eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Awesome. And then focus there. Pioneer Kits. Great. Let us grab this. Armor hardening so we can eventually make some power armor divisions eventually. You guys can do that, that'd be great. You guys, uh, I'm not sure why you're attacking, but do it anyways. Robots, high chapel declare. This is a very violent campaign so far. Why is everyone killing each other so much? I mean, it's only 2279. So much violence. Ah, uh, they're, they're gonna get, take that towel, but that's okay, I don't really care. Uh, actually. Ooh. Hello there. <clears throat> that might be kind of interesting to do. I'm not gonna say. Not too bad. Oh, that's disappointing. That's alright. Send both of you guys here and do that too. Well, you might stay here. Very nice. Keep them doing that. Awesome, awesome. Go there. You guys come down there. You guys come down there. And you guys kill these guys off too. Very nice. Just toying with them at this point. Rebuilding the wastes. Oh, and it went bye-bye. Okay, whatever. Oh, encountering the Brotherhood. So, on our most recent expedition south, we encountered a like-minded, technologically advanced group of people. They call themselves the Brotherhood, with a lowercase b. How should we react to them? We are in need of no friends. How oh, about we have some diplomatic talks? Oh, oh, we also get this too? Oh, hell yeah. A seventh research slot? Seven? Oh, that's so good. So we need to re restructure our entire government to set up our new government of intellectuals, smart people. Still led, of course, by the queen. She must lead. Oh, we have people support. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Our, oh, Edward Charles Monarchy. King Edward the Bold. This is a, King Edward the Bald. No, he's just bold. Black Duke Din and Palette. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Also, uh, there was another comment yesterday that I should really address. We are a constitutional monarchy, which means the queen is more of a figurehead and lets a democratic government, you know, deal with a lot of other smaller stuff. Most stuff. So that's cool. Obviously, I'm an American. We don't believe in such garbage. But you know what? In Victoria, New Victoria, we do. And in speaking of New Victoria, and speaking of how garbage Americans are, I have some Earl Grey tea. And just, just saying, I'm kidding. All oh, guys, I'm kidding. Don't get angry at me. I just have some tea here. And not coffee. Cool. Cool. Hope you're all having a great day. <laughs> uh, awesome. Go ahead and take them out. Uh, oh. Go, 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 go. Ah, four divisions. How about no more divisions? Ah. Uh, monarchy for everyone. Which means monarchy. Which means we should take everyone else over. So that they will all have a place under our monarchy, under the queen, or maybe even a potential king. King Eddie, maybe? Sounds kind of cool. Alright, there goes Kaiser's Legion, having a good time. Why do they get all the fun? Monarchy all the way. Alright, let's have a little bit more fun over here. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe just one more slice. Slice of 
the Bellingham Union, because I don't want to have too many casualties. Manpower is precious. The monarchy cares about its soldiers. Let's break over. Oh, hello. Um, I mean, I guess if you really want to do that, I'm not going to oppose you. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys to go crazy. And then once the ro robots are going crazy, let everyone else go crazy. And once you guys are done, you can go crazy too. And... You know what? Everyone might as well go crazy. Duke? Duke Dinan. The cooling system's nice. Uh, experience soldiers lost. Yeah, go local leader. That sounds like fun. Ooh, let's do that. Sentry bot, Mark 1s. Very cool. You know? You know what? I like... Usually when I have tea, I have a green tea. But Earl... Black Earl Grey tea? Pretty darn nice. We're going to need more support robots. Oh, combat robots are coming online. We're going to need to put more emphasis on those guys. But especially power armor. But we can't even make them, so that's okay. Ooh, maybe. We can make it. Maybe make an encirclement. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. Cool. Go that way. If not, whatever. It really doesn't matter. These guys. 226 casualties, that's not bad, versus 4,000, 5,000. Oh, we're expanding, oh, they're done. Didn't even matter, I, don't, I really don't think the she deserve any of this, so. Thank you, and let us begin with the next research slot opens up. Changing our land doctrine. So. Oh, oh, the Canadian royalty, look at that, I love the royalty. Oh, wait, did I pass it? No. Building the Waste, Lord of the Wastes. Where are we, my friends, where are we? Survive Menace of the Past. Survive the Plague. Ooh. Paul Grudges, a Canadian royalty. As Cascadia own all states in Canada. Ah, oh, that's right. I love Canada. Now, it might be a little bit too much to ask to kill out the Northern League without allies. So, we're not going to go to war just yet. See civilian stuff. What else? We can't really do much here. That's, and that's okay. That's totally okay. Let's go ahead and do mercenary training veterans. Peoples. Very good. Internal restructuring. That'd be great. Hmm. Hmm. There's... Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Great. Quality over quantity, which looks really nice. But let's formalize a treaty. The Brotherhood shares the same views as us. Is it time we join them militarily as well? No. Oh, we have Edward Charles Monarchy. The Queen. My Queen. No. But she's still there. She's still there. We're staunch constitutionalists. But now we're really constitutional monarchy. Holy cow. Coach Guns. Ah. Oh. Queen Victoria the Sixth. You just now have been sidelined. But now you can have spend more time helping everyone out. But let's go ahead and switch our land doctrines to automated warfare. Uh, human targeting firmware? Great. And here, we're going to start switching some of these guys, actually, to heavy? No, just give them to regular robots. That's okay for now. Oh yeah, that's going to be... This isn't going to be a good look for us, but that's okay. You guys will be the ones leading us in. Good. Get some breakthrough. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe instead of guerrilla tactics, do some anti tank first. I don't want to keep saying that I need it and I don't ever get it, so. Uh, Victorian Levy, yes. These are the 20 combat width, which is very nice. Mm hmm. Ah, scrap motorcycles, very good. Oh, actually, maybe more industrial things. Uh, we could do that. We could get some bricks. I'm gonna wait maybe just a little bit longer. Engineering stuff? Yes, please. You three. Hmm. I'm gonna keep you guys like that. You guys are gonna keep like that. And just pop them over here for now. That's fine. For now, you're gonna be the front line against these guys. Bone Dancers, Mr. Handy is very cool. You three are gonna. Uh, actually, probably you six stay right there. You're gonna definitely need some more resources for that. But. Perhaps with the Marrow Drinkers. Let's see what happens when we formalize our treaty, because I do want to go to war with the Marrow Drinkers. Eh, get some Mr. Gutsies. They are doing... They're looking thick. That's a thick mama, Mesmeralda, but she got some thick lands. Which means it's time to take her out. 90 days? Great. Let's go ahead and plan a naval invasion. Using light robots to naval invade probably isn't the smartest idea, but you know what? 
That's okay. That's okay. New victory will come from Roche. Ah, oh, armor, armor hardening. Great. Uh, maybe not, actually. You know what? Let's formalize it. I want to naval invade, but if we can just send soldiers to Arroyo. What the hell? Why is she doing so well? I don't like that. They're, they're doing too well. Holy cow. Seems like we're going to beat up the she forum. Let's grab the strip power armor first. Good. Does anyone need... Yeah, go ahead and just start doing this a little bit. It looks like we're really going to need it. Uh, yeah, robot-wise. Support robots, we're going to need a lot. We can take off demo equipment a little bit. Uh, well, we barely are using it anyways. That's okay, do that, do that. Oh my goodness, we're going to need some military factories. Which we have plenty of space for now. Holy cow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, just like all of you guys. Just beautiful. And Binky, of course. Who's not with me currently? Hmm. So we'll throw some magic tank, maybe even on the robots, so just in case. And for now, Kaiser's Legion's having a good time with the colony. We're making a lot of big capital ships. Holy crud. Um, I tell him not to, but we just need more circuitry. Let's go ahead and make some. Good, that's good, because that's a few too many capital ships for my liking. So we'll just death stack them there. Go ahead and train for now. Actually, you know what? Don't train. Take that off. Good. I want everyone to come here. Please move to Roche. Thank you, my friends. Oh, smoke screen specialist, huh, Admiral? And train. You can put that out. We don't have enough factories. 104 is pretty good, but we could always use more. Uh, protectrons. What's the difference? Costs a little bit more. 12 piercing, 16 armor. 10 piercing, 8 armor. Oh, no. Cool. Formalize a treaty. Great. Proclaim chapter status. It is time we proclaim our membership of the Brotherhood for the world to hear. It is time they fear our steel ships. Absolutely, my friends. And keep building ourselves up. We don't have a lot of things. I do want to get at least one more thing of civilian factories going somewhere pretty decent. Maybe right here since there's four. We're doing civilian factories. We're doing military factories. We're doing infrastructure. We're doing a lot of things. And actually, when we run out of things to do, do more stuff. Just like build, build, build. Good. Awesome. You can let time go on just a little bit. Getting a little bit more army XP, which is nice, which we really need, since uh, we want to make sure we get some combat robot divisions, heavy ro combat robots. Good, good. And the way to use co heavy combat robots, or just robots in general, you want to have like three waves. First, it's just like pretty much using only light robots, and then a mixture for s the second wave of light and heavy robots, and then the third wave is just mostly heavy robots and some other things that can be filled in for other stuff. Ooh, hmm, 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 goodbye. Uh, let's stop making those guys. Oh, there's that. We can make these, but their organization is so bad. Hmm. Nice. So goes those guys. This isn't bad. Ten combat with really isn't ideal. Eight armor isn't bad. You know what? We're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna edit this to be. Hmm. Robo garrisons. Uh, actually, you should probably stay on high. There you go. But then we're gonna do this. That's for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, let's double check. I want to make sure I click on duplicate first. Mixed robos. With, can we throw anything else on there? No, let's wait for that. Mixed robos. And we're gonna start throwing on a few of these guys. Not too many. But that definitely helps the armor out just a wee bit. Lowers organization probably recovery rate, but gives us better stats overall. I'd like to make them, but I don't have enough robots or really army XP. Which we're getting a little bit more every day, which is nice. Come on, let's formalize a treaty. That'd be great. Let's get some veteran training instructors for even faster war justification times, as well as division organization. We got some anti-tank rifles, which will be very incredibly important. Uh, how about, let's do some flamers. I think flamers would make sense, just because we probably use devices to warm ourselves up here in the north anyways. So I think that just makes more sense. Good. How many things are we building? Support equipment. Power armor. That's looking okay-ish. Dogs are looking pretty good. Uh, you can probably do that. We probably don't need that many dogs. And then you find out we're, we're going to need a lot more dogs. Uh, composite. Yeah, no. We're going to switch over to the T-51B. Yeah, I think that'd be better. But 
Always keep a line on military factory, circuitry. Oh yeah, old country, heck yeah. String telephones, cool. Yeah. One on military, one on civilians. And then we're gonna build another one up. Right here. Great. Oh no. Oh no. Old country, why? Wow, you really can't can't get any uh that's disappointing. That is quite disappointing, but that's okay. Alright, let's formalize a treaty. Are we in the faction yet? We can go to war with them. Yes, we are. We are in the Brotherhood of Steel, my friends. We are a Cas Cascadian Constitutional Monarchy chapter. I love it. Great. Military Academy training, good. Oh, actually, what's down there? With the Forgers? The Free States Collective. Huh. Phantasma Cartel, that's cool, that's cool. Now, let's keep an eye on what the Shi are doing, because a debt of gratitude. They can go to war with the Brotherhood any time. Which I really do not like. You guys are going to stay there. You guys are getting better. Y'all are coming down here. Uh, Probably right there. Do they have anti-tank? They might have anti-tank on them. No, they don't, which is great. Then you guys... It ain't much. But go ahead and do that. See what you can do about that. And I'm going to send half you guys, plus one, there. Great. Let's make sure our guys are stopped training... Repair. Finish off some Earl Grey tea. And of course they go to war. So, I want you guys to do this. Prepare yourselves. This is why I want to get my soldiers there first. Don't do too much. Repairing. Repairing. That's, that's really not good screening. <laughs> Five capital ships and only eight screens? Oh, maybe that's not good. Uh, where are y'all at? Oh, you're moving. You're still moving. Okay, well, whatever. I'll go to war soon enough. Oh, this war shouldn't last too long. You guys are doing pretty well. Sentry Bot Mark 1's very nice. We do want to become advanced eventually. Let's see if we can grab some flight stuff. Nice. Three, two... Oh, you're already there. You know what? If that's the case, let's help suckle them there. Did I just say suckle them? I think I did. And you guys are already there. Cool. Join the war. Fine if they have any ships. Oh, they definitely do. But they have no capital ships here, which is great, Mr. Gutsies. Hello, Mr. Gutsies. Yeah, I need to become advanced. Actually, there's a focus that we can do to become advanced. We need assembly lines, rapid prototyping, advanced tools, bricks. Huh. Seven research slots. It's not enough. Haha. <laughs> Okay, let's get some bricks going. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We're sinking some of their fleet. Sky Reavers against the 80s. 80s. Looking pretty big. Reformers are killing off the High Chapel people. Complicated circuitry. Great. Miniaturized circuitry is next. Ah, uh, finally we're using our navy some more. I love it. Look at those four, ca four capital ships at a time. Just smash, smash, smash. Mmm, I love it. Go, go, go. Get involved. Okay, never mind. They all died. Well, so much for getting involved. Ooh, we're going to have to do a naval invasion here or something. Hmm. Could really use power for that. Alright, let's see what we can do about this. Navarro, Osprehood, Brotherhood. Well, that's the only place we can probably navally invade, to be honest. Maybe try to Gien from here to... You probably can't navally invade right there, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Another robot, light robot division. Not bad, three right there. We need to go to war by <clears throat> October 6th. That's okay. We're going to kill off the entire navy here, too, which is good. They're trying to navy invade. But they can pierce... And, ooh, that's not good. The piercing is too strong. Uh, you might as well grab that. Cool. Robo garrisons. That's cool. Mixed robos. Some heavy robots in there, maybe. Ooh, that's still not good. That's 19. That's not bad. I might be able to convert one of our divisions currently to that. Convert you, maybe. Plus our deficit of robots. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. So they're trying to attack. They can't quite win there. We're not quite winning here either. If we could launch like a big old invasion here on, along the coast, we might do okay. Looks like we're probably going to have to wait for an invasion of these people first. 
Because the Shi, well, they're Shi. Actually, how many divisions do they have? Oh, that's quite a few. Ship-wise, they have a canoe. Nice. Alright. We probably can't win there. We probably can't win here, to be honest with you. Probably not. We'll see what happens. Uh, next up, we're going to grab Legendary Wastelanders. Less political power, but better stats on new generals. Even though we might not need them. Alright, so we're going to help them. Oh, I guess not help them out there. I might lose... Actually, you know what? If we had navally invaded here, that actually would make a lot more sense. Human targeting firmware. Let's grab some dynamic tactics integration. Ooh. Uh, yeah. They can definitely pierce us. Flamethrowers, nice. Gonna grab some sustain pressure. Ah, I think we went with the other path last time. Nice. Mr. Gutsies, that's cool. Yeah, I can't do much there, that's okay. Can we do anything here? No. So, that's okay. You know what? Everyone hold. Go back home for now, because I have another plan. Which I kind of already explained. explained. Oh my god, look at our flag. So... One, two, three. This is going to be extremely dangerous. This probably isn't going to work out very well for us. We're going to do this. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to do that. No, no. We're going to go from here to invade and cut off this group right here. Come from here, cut off that group. You might be able to take San Francisco. I am really risking my robots here. They're probably going to die, actually. If anything, which is really not good for me, but you know, whatever. That's okay. Yeah, concentrate those guys there. Yep, yeah, actually, might be able to take that that group, but we'll see what happens. But now we're chapter. Look at that flag, the Victorian chapter. Uh, let us do quantity over quantity, quality over quantity. As intellectuals, we need to keep our people close and our outsiders far. We can only do this by having our men be able to beat ten of theirs at a time. Yes. Oh, they're still trying to attack. We've lost twenty-two versus six thousand. Holy crap! As a brother keeps trying to invade. So this is a bad idea. I'm going to attempt to cut these guys off. If that's the case, you know what? I'm pulling you guys down. Because you're going to attack... You have to attack these guys at the exact same time. We need to spearhead into here. There's 27 divisions. We're going to try to cut them off. Weaken them as much as humanly possible. Probably isn't going to work very well for us. But that's okay. Give our guys a little bit of time to prepare. 8,000 manpower. Not enough. Never enough. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. I still needed to do... No, we have the Rubo analysis and create that. More analysis would be good to do. NVAF. Uh, factories. Nothing really permanent. Steal the Vertibird. Ooh. Or create the Navy. I think I'm probably going to go with the Navy. Just because we're a naval power, we get the HMS Justice. I, I think so. I, I, I'm thinking HMS Justice. And Destroyer, Battleship equipment stuff. Battleships are awesome. Destroyers are eh. They can pierce us. Or pierce the enemy, but whatever. Alright, so we got some of this coming along. Maybe raise it up to three. We need to go need some more energy cells. That's not ideal. We need to get some generators. Wow, we become pink again. Actually, that's not a bad idea. We became pink, which is great. Mm, are we suffering from attrition here? That might not be good. Oh, well, I mean, coming through this part of the country is really always a bad idea. Alright, are we ready to go? Do we have any, any air support? I don't think I'm making planes. So probably not, no. And that's okay. You know what? Let's try it. This is probably a terrible idea. Really, really bad. We're going to try to even just take the capital. See what we can do about that. 7,000 losses. How much more manpower do they have? There's a lot of... Who are you? Nyan Hung. Miss Hung. Uh, they got 33 to 55 divisions. 53 divisions. That's a lot. Well, we've landed. Can I... I need to build a port up here, please. Thank you. Probably some forts or outposts. Oh, these guys aren't even down there yet. Uh, if we could take San Francisco, that'd be amazing. But I know it's not going to happen. Oh, goodness. I just sacrificed three divisions for nothing. No. No. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Unfortunate losses. But I tried. Quali quality over quantity. Uh more resources. Yeah, that could actually work. More resources. We have realized how many resources are required to build robots now. We can only continue to take more from the land. Yeah, trying to break into here is going to be a pain in the butt. This is going to be a big old pain in the butt. They're going to keep trying, so you know what? We've lost four, four divisions. Jesus Christ. I lost a lot of guys there. 
That's too many. Well, we've only lost 132. Hmm. Nonetheless, we're gonna have a good time with the Marrow Drinkers then. Screw that. You guys took way too long to get down there, so... As punishment, you're gonna coming back up here. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Uh, put two on. I think that'd be good. Mixed Robos. 19 is good enough for now. Train one, two. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Thank you. Mm, optic fibers. I still need to upgrade my ships. That'd probably be a good idea. Probably. I don't hear any music going either. Hoyero. Cool. Consumer technology. Sure. Bricks. I love bricks. Sustain pressure. I love sustain pressure. I'm probably missing something that I need. For example, generators. But maybe get some more extraction first. That might help us a little bit more. Old country. Murtaz. Good. Good. Okay, let's go re-justify on these guys. We should have just went more of them first. Instead of wasting time with the sheath. Because they're just going to keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Hopefully we might go to war with the NCR eventually to take these guys out. But, you know, it is what it is. And they... They love attacking so much. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, white legs, crazy horns. We've got things to do. Get proficient mercenaries. That's nice. Just let them waste their manpower. <sighs> Good. They don't have a lot of stability. Yeah. We're going to come back down here later. And kill them off. Somehow, some way. I'll find a way. I'll figure it out. Let's get some more breakthrough for our guys that we're still using infantry with. Yeah, our guys should do okay. How much support do we have? 70. It's not bad. Light robots. Yeah. Hmm. That was disappointing. Not gonna lie. So, industries. And then make one right there. Good. Ranchers, ranchers, and we will be at war before this episode ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. Ah, more resources are always nice, though. Let us grab robot factories? Victorian future. Hmm. Break the north. Uh, take the northern power plant. The frozen isles contain a massive power plant capable of producing massive quantities of energy. We must take this for ourselves, which I think we've already done. Something tells me we've already done that. Yeah, this is this is kind of stupid, honestly. Just them attacking. But you know what? It's a Hoi 4 AI. What do you expect? They're attacking with you know, casually 13, 16 divisions versus almost 30. But yeah, going to war with the NCR for this wouldn't be bad. Especially if the NCR is going to war with the Legion. Murtaugh's still trying to hold on. We're going to definitely take out this Brotherhood, though. Eventually, we're going to have to. But we got to take out the Mineral Drinkers first. And maybe Timberline. Good. Build, build, build. A royal would... It'd be nice to have a Royal had that, but, you know, that's okay. I'm probably going to end up taking a good chunk of this stuff. And then we'll take out the Brotherhood. Because we're going to sandwich them. Like that. Hmm. I'm just thinking about, the, after this episode, once we take out the Mario Drinkers, we'll go to War of the Brotherhood, probably take a lot of territory, give a lot of this territory to a Royal or the Western Brotherhood, and we'll see what happens. This is why you don't give the Shi the territory, Western Brotherhood. This is why you made us fail. Because of your incompetence. Unfortunate. Let's go ahead and put these guys back on doing this. We got three more guys here. That's a lot of capital ships, not gonna lie, that's a ton of capital ships. And we should be able to go to war very soon. A week. And then they're going to try to ram themselves on my line. And we're going to have a great time. Mobilize the people. Dynamic in tactics integration. So, here's something. I almost always go quantity. Actually, I always go quantity. When I choose automated warfare. Change it up a little bit. I'm going to go quantity. I, I don't think I've ever really gone quantity. I might have once. That's pretty much it. Maybe once. Maybe. Go ahead and grab this. Good. We're going to go to war immediately. We lose a little bit of political power. 1.36 a day is still pretty good. Triplane attackers. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Put you right at the very top. I know I want some power armor, but we got to wait just a little bit. Uh, with these Victorian levies, we're going to grab some anti-tank. Awesome. 
and immediately go to war with these guys and see what happens. Are they going to attack us? No. Huh. I thought that they might. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Let's call you guys in as well. See what happens. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Arroyo, I'm defending your lens with you. Call to arms. Oh, my goodness. Really? You're going to chicken out? Come on, man. Don't chicken out. Engine order telegraph. I'm not navally invading again. No, 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 no. Hmm. Take the northern power plant. Cool. Uh, we could probably do robot factories. Now with resources, we require more factories to put us put them to use. That'll be our next goal. More factories is, is a great, admirable goal. Get more guys there. That's good. Oh my goodness, guys. Come on. Why? Why won't you accept? The base reluctance. Democracy being called into an offense. So? So? So what? You are literally chickening out. Come on. Hmm. That is really disappointing. That's why you don't allow Arroyo into the Brotherhood. Oh my goodness. They're still defending super well. What we really should have used is power armor. Then they wouldn't be able to beat us back too much. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Arroyo, come on. I'm defending your lands. 57. That is incredibly disappointing. But you know what? Then that means we're going to leave this episode here. I'm going to force Arroyo to accept my call to arms. Because there's no point being in the Brotherhood or in a faction if you're not going to go to war with, the, with the, you know your allies' enemies. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and maybe learned a thing or two about the sheep. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will take out the Marrow Drinkers as well as go to war with the Northern League. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.